Hello, this is Jay Sims Plays, and today I'm going to do an episode of Let's Play. Uh, we're up to episode 6, I believe. So here you can see Betty and Suki. They were the babies from last week. They're all grown up, so they're like pre-teens about now. So since this is about 4.30 when I was recording this, uh, you might as well send them off to school. Um, I'm, I've enrolled them in the evening school, which starts from five o'clock, because uh, as I said from last week, that's the thing that works best for me, really. So here they are going off. <laughs> I like the way, even though she has to wear her school uniform, she still has a hat on. And then there's just Mia left at home by herself. And then off to the player's uh, design um, house where I just leave them to plant overnight all the onions and stuff. That's basically for everybody who's not actually doing a live dream over, over the night. Can we can see here, I think it's Betsy. She's got the ring, red ring of death around her, so not long now. And as you can see, there's like three of them. And uh, yeah, uh, my town soon is going to be overrun by loads of old people. And uh, yeah, it's a problem. They need to have more uh, clothes for elders because they're all sort of dressing like these days. Okay, here is uh, Emmy and Kira. They just finished off their playing the instruments for the evening. Well, they might as well carry on playing again, eh? They might as well. And then off to Marlon's house. And uh, yeah, he's been planting overnight. I've re-designed um, this house, so giving it sort of a blue and green kind of look. He was sort of, sort of, sort of supposed to be a, like a surfer dude, but it's, uh, you know, I can't, I can't design a house that tacky really with like, all the surfboards and everything. So yeah, this is sort of stylish, but casual as well, especially with the green couch. So yeah, he, he just dancing and you know being romantic with her their plan was you know to uh, get her to move into the house because at the moment she lives with her family okay now they're pi finally partners so now he can ask her to move in Okay, so they've moved in together. Um, in the end, I had to go and, uh, oh, as much as it hurted me, I had to go and uh, buy some LP points the other day. I had to buy two spins and I got like uh, 30, 37 LPs in the end because I was running so low on LPs. Like, I wouldn't even be able to ask any of the you know get the sims to get married even because it costs like 10 lps for for each ring and stuff so i had to go and actually get some in the end so here's one of my new residents i because babies are so expensive i uh just added a load of uh, adult sims in there so i'm going to quickly like make them complete their life dream and age up to elders so also can get the uh entertainer orb of course and uh here's zoe she's my other resident new resident so i just brought them all here to show you and there's another one also called um so the blonde 
here. Well, now I'm going here again. Okay, so the one with the brown hair, that's Lewis. The one with the blonde hair, blonde afro, he is Trevor. And then there's Zoe on the side. Yeah, there's Zoe with <laughs> trying to put her hand through the wall. And I want his, like, Trevor and Lewis, I want them to be a couple in the future. So got to get them actually talking to each other and actually friendly and romancing each other first so maybe by next week they might also be married okay so we're off to see mark remember he was last week he was the teen i think it was yeah teen he was um floating in the swimming pool on that inflatable whale all the time and it took quite a long time to be honest it wasn't as annoying as the microwave one but just as much to be honest so he's aged up now and he is going to um play the drum kit for his life dream for a while Yeah, so now we just have to style him. Yeah, I wanted something sort of casual. Yeah, and my purple is my favourite colour, so we'll put him in purple. Now just trying to find the right uh, jeans and shorts and stuff. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> that's too bright, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Just going through all the different different shorts. Yeah, this looks nice. Mm. I was trying to find some uh, sh uh, jeans that were just sort of ripped looking, but jeans. But I can't find any, so I guess the shorts will have to do. Anyway, since he's at the team mansion, he might as well go to the uh, drum kit now and start practicing. Oh yeah, and first we've got to into, put him into evening school, which technically he should be going to right now. But anyway, he can uh, miss the night, the first night anyway, and uh, start r drumming. And then there's back to Betsy. She's still not gone. The the Grim Reaper have basically been hanging around her for like quite like a day now, a day and a half. He comes kind of early, like about two days before they're meant to die. He just comes and just follows them around. And uh, here's Casey and Daxton. Remember, she was just eating the microwave food all the time for about two weeks. Um, yeah, she aged up and. I've got them together and their couple and everything and now I'm finally going to get those two married but of course you can only do it in a garden so I've set up this little little tiny thing just for something different really and uh, let's just watch them get married well if we can actually get them at the spot at the same time because as soon as you get one sim to the exact place you want them the other sim just walks off so it's actually quite hard to get them there Yes, he's walked off now. Oh, now she's walked off. Oh, nearly. <laughs> right, finally, let's get her back and quickly press on him before she yeah, she moves. Right, get married. It's so quick. It's not, you know, no no hearts, no flowers, no nothing. It's just uh, so quick. <laughs> 
anyway. Well, since she got married in like two seconds, you might as well send her off to do her, her uh, live dream, which is um, show jumping. Yeah, show jumping on the unicorn in the stables. And then watch how she just walks and goes through the fence without even opening. So we'll leave her to do that. Now, um, well, since they got married, they might as well have their baby. I mean, that's kind of the whole point. So to do that, we need to make an extra bedroom. And then let's just look at the different wallpapers. Well, first put a door there so they can actually get into the room. But sometimes, you know, it just gets too much blocked with other things. Okay, um... The house has got sort of a purple red thing going on about it. So since I haven't decided whether I want a boy or a girl yet, I'm going to try and keep it a bit neutral. So this is like a light purpley colour, which I suppose could suit a boy or a girl. It doesn't really matter. And then the floor, I think, will just go with uh, purple again. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, actually, because um, the baby will take 24 hours to be born. So by the time this is up, let me know whether it sh I should have sh they should have a boy or a girl and uh, a suggested name for them. So then I'll just put a crib, brown crib. There's actually many things for babies. And of course, you don't want to buy things again. So I just, you know, have the baby and then just store the stuff again. So put the dressing table there the chair the night light basically most of these be the kids bedrooms they end up looking pretty much the same just like in different corners I suppose you put different things Okay, there's that there. Oh, it costs 71,000 simoleons for a baby. Luckily, um, I'm okay on the money front at the moment. So, yeah, okay, we'll add a baby. <laughs> that takes um, 20, uh, like 24 hours. So, by the time this is up, I'll have the baby. As I said, I'm looking for gender suggestions and uh, name suggestions. Okay, back to Danny and Marlon. Uh, and a new thing I saw the other day, they have these stools. Kind of like in a, in a diner. And uh, it takes a while to actually get them seated properly. Otherwise, they end up being, on, you know, not facing each other and stuff. But um, even if you do get them facing each other, it's not like I think you can go and bring your dinner and sit there and eat. Well, I haven't actually managed to get them. Because normally they just eat standing up or, yeah, they just go to... They don't even go to the dinner table, do they? Well, they certainly don't go to this table, so it's a bit pointless, to be honest. 
But since I have the moved in together, I might as well get him trying to propose to her. So let's just come out of that. And uh, maybe go around to the garden and uh, get him to propose to her. And of course, we've learned always to buy the most expensive ring. She said yes, of course. Right, they're finally engaged. So, of course, they have to um, be romantic enough to be able to then get married. So, that will probably happen in a few days' time. Um, check out my Instagram for pictures of that, I'm sure. Then, of course, we unfortunately we have Nate here who, yeah, he's reaching the end. Um, but the good thing about him, his wife has already passed away, Ali. She gave me the first uh, entertainer orb and he'll give me the first silver entertainer orb. And, uh, yeah, you know how I like those entertainer orbs. So I'm just now finally starting to get a couple. And there's uh, Grim Reaper. He's been hanging around, as I said, for two days now, thanks to um, Betsy. Try and get him standing beside her, might as well. You're gonna do a uh, mass death, <laughs> bit, bit grim, isn't it? But oh well. And unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to those two. And here's the orbs left over. So if you don't know, you can actually add them. Well, you say you had a toddler. You could uh, give them to your uh, toddler. And then they would have, instead of like a silver, no, instead of a, a bronze orb, they would be then work, working towards a silver orb. Uh, but instead, I'm just going to put it in my in inventory. Because I need all the entertainer orbs I can get for the uh, carnival, of course. Which is, um, I think, yeah, two silver and five uh, bronze. So, literally, if I killed off, well, yeah, all my, all my sims right now, I'd be able to open the carnival. But, unfortunately, I can't right now. But But we'll see where we are by next week. I might have a few more. Anyway, it's going to take them a while to be friendly. Um, but anyway, I hope you've liked this episode. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll speak to you on Friday.